down to nothing. Can Yu-Gi-Oh finally win a round so they can get one on the board? Well, you guys just heard that bell, which means it's time to begin round three. What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the Table of Madness. As you just heard that bell, which means it is time. Yes, it is time for another Booster Box Showdown. This is round three. If you just heard, Digimon kind of up to nothing currently. Let's just see if Yu-Gi-Oh can finally get on the board. But before we do that, I just want to go ahead and cover some quick basics. Of course, you guys know we are doing a monthly Booster Box giveaway. All you have to do is enter in the giveaway, like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. If you are not subscribed, if you're already subscribed, perfect. Just make sure you like and comment on any videos during this month so you can win your very own Yu-Gi-Oh! Dimension Force Booster Box. Um, some people have been asking me, hey, how can we verify who, if I'm on, am I not on the list? You know, kind of like that kind of thing. Um, when we do, when we get to the quarter mark, which is after four boxes, I'm going to go ahead and do a quick recap of how everything's been shaking up here at the Booster Box Showdown. In that video, I will do an entire list of names that I have that are currently entered in the booster box giveaway. But basically what I'm just asking is just a couple of more videos here and then we'll get to that quarter mark. So just kind of bear with me here. And then I'll, like I said, I'll put a whole list together. Of course, if you want to see if you're already on that list, you can go ahead and join our discord channel. Yes, we do have a discord channel link in the description box. You can join the discord channel. And then I have a list already compiled up, all ready to go. But of course I will release that list here on YouTube, but if you kind of want to just don't want to wait and you want to go see that list now, go ahead and shoot over to our Discord link in the description box. Go ahead and join up and then you'll see that and you'll see your name on the list. And of course, before we get into this video, I always like to go ahead and, and propose a question to you guys. And today is I have a very unique question today and it does relate directly to Yu-Gi-Oh! Seeing Digimon and seeing now I'm doing also other card games and stuff like that, I have noticed I really love alternative arts. My question for you guys is... Would you guys like one of two choices? Pick one of them. Would you guys like A, a Starlight guaranteed in every case of Yu-Gi-Oh cards? So if you buy 12 boxes, if you buy a case, you are guaranteed to get a Starlight rare. Or, or would you like Yu-Gi-Oh to make alternative art and make that a new rarity? I'm curious to see what you guys think. I want you guys to pick one of them and let me know why you would do the other one or the other. I'm uh, just kind of curious to see, because I, I, my last question, I said, do you think it's time for Yu-Gi-Oh to kind of shake some things up a little bit? And we were kind of split down the middle of a 50-50, and I do want to touch on that again. 50% of you think, yes, it's time to shake things up, and the other half of you think that, no, 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 we shouldn't add or do anything different. And I think the reason why some of you guys don't want to do it is you guys are kind of afraid of the pricing. So I'm trying to offer up another solution as to maybe like kind of get you guys on board just again, just to have some kind of dialogue and the dialect to just talk about things. So I think it is kind of important to have these discussions. And of course I like to have discussions with you guys. The last time I, uh, I asked you guys a question of the day, you guys were all over it. Thank you guys so much. I really enjoyed that. So that's something just basically for me. And of course I also like to just read out some of my top comments from that last video as well. So if you guys will indulge me here, I got some top comments from the last video. My favorite and my top comment came from Richard Keith. And he said, yes, I would love for Yu-Gi-Oh to shake it up. I love opening up booster boxes, but I almost exclusively buy singles for Yu-Gi-Oh because it's such a feel bad most of the time when opening packs. And that is exactly what I'm talking about when I came to answering my question of the day. I agree with you so much, Richard. Like, who doesn't love opening up packs? But I do think there has to be some more value uh, put into these booster boxes and specifically with Yu-Gi-Oh, specifically with Pokemon. Like there's other companies, Magic the Gathering, like all these companies, I think, they are the top dog, there's no question about it, and I think they almost take us, the buyer, for granted at this point, but I do think it's time for them to kind of shake some things up a little bit, either add an extra rarity, throw some foils, extra foils, um, make it easier to get a secret rare, make it easier to pull another ultra rare. I mean, these are things that I don't think they would crash the prices, but you guys kind of think they will, but I have an idea about that, and I, why I don't think that would happen. And I'm going to talk about that in a later video, but not in this video, so... I digress, but Richard Keith, thank you so much for commenting. That was my top comment. Uh, my second favorite comment came from uh, one of my favorites, Ashwin Silva Kumar. Then he reads, and he kind of went to the opposite perspective. He said, I'm going to be honest, Yu-Gi-Oh! has plenty of reprints and options of certain cards, so unless a card is absolutely essential, it won't be big money. Like you saw in today's box, uh, even if you had an extra hit, but if the hit was just odd eyes, then you get into the value. Increasing the number of hits isn't going to do much. Because old school Yu-Gi-Oh boxes cost more than 1k, have ultimate rares, highest guaranteed uh, rarity, 
worth 10 or even less uh, less in first edition whereas there are sets where even super supers are in guaranteed but common cards are worth three to four uh ashwin i i, I kind of disagree with you just a little bit here first of all when you're comparing an old set just remember to you're probably thinking about the reason why those boxes are so expensive because they are sealed people love sealed sets and those older sets are always going to hold value especially if it's sealed um to, to raise your point here if they threw in just an extra hit and it was an odd eyes i would still be okay with that because that's just an extra value and i don't think I don't think the prices would come crashing down. As long as it's essential to a deck building or building a deck, those cards will always hold just a couple of dollars, three, four dollars, eight dollars, doesn't matter what it is. But I do think that it is time for Yugo just to add an extra hit. Um, you guys may have just saw, I opened up a box of uh, My Hero Academia. 13 hits, three promos, and that's something else we could talk about. Maybe Yu-Gi-Oh doing some promos and some box toppers. Maybe we can talk about that. But um, what was it like? What was it like four uh, XRs, like six URs, three promos. So 13 total hits. That to me just, just shows that companies can do it. They just choose not to. And you're seeing these newer companies doing it. There's a reason they're doing it because they're trying to get those people and pull them away from you. And say, hey, hey, buy singles for you. That's fine. But come buy our booster boxes. That's why Digimon's doing really well here in the booster box showdown. You're seeing the hits. I mean, I get a stack of cards basically. And the value is there. And I, I, at this point now, unless we pull, a, a, what's it called, from Yu-Gi-Oh, unless we pull the King card or we pull a Starlight Rare, I don't see Yu-Gi-Oh winning a round unless I pull specifically one of those cards. So I do think it's time just to, for Yu-Gi-Oh just to add that extra value into it. Again, I don't think it's asking too much. And even if they did add it, it's a win-win for everybody. If the prices go down a little bit, that means it's just cheaper for you guys to purchase that, which is, again, a win-win for players. It's a win-win for collectors. Collectors want those cards. So I think it's a win-win all around. So I just, like I said, I slightly disagree with it. But, you know, to each his own. Everybody's, you know, has an opinion on it. I think you guys are just maybe maybe a little bit afraid. I don't know. But I don't think it's going to be that bad to just add an extra hit. I actually think it's going to work out better. But that's why we ask these questions. Maybe I'm just dead wrong. And finally, my third favorite comment came from Jimmy, who said, Yeah, but if Yu-Gi-Oh! increases the chances of getting a big card, then won't the money go down? But yeah, I think they should do more. So there you go. Someone who maybe understands like, yeah, won't that prices go down? I personally don't see that happening. Um, and even if the prices do go down, if they go down, they'll probably just go down a little bit, maybe a dollar, two dollars, three dollars, five dollars. I don't see it coming crashing down to making an ultra that's worth six bucks going all the way down to 50 cents. I don't see that happening. However, though, the idea that they should do more, we can talk about that. Promos, box toppers. Maybe make a new rarity. Maybe make some alternative arts. These are all things I would love to talk about in a later video because I could spend all day talking about that and why I think they should do that. So anyways, thank you guys so much for everybody that commented in the last video. I do appreciate it. I love having these conversations with you guys. I'm always in the, you know, in the comment section chatting up with you guys. So don't be afraid to go ahead and put your comment down below. I'll always reach out. I'll always go ahead and answer it no matter what. And with all that out of the way, it's time to dive in to round three of the Booster Box Show. Shit. Here at the quarter, uh, quarterway mark here. Let's see if Digimon can continue making some separation on Yu-Gi-Oh. So far, Yu-Gi-Oh has been, I guess for a lack of a better word, just underperforming. We're only getting back half our money's worth, whereas Digimon has been gaining us some value here. But I do have faith that Yu-Gi-Oh is going to perform better. And again, this is kind of why we're making these videos. We're making these videos to really show you guys the major differences between companies and their pricing and their value so for those of you that have basically said oh i think Yu-Gi-Oh is going to win or my gut feeling tells me Yu-Gi-Oh," or if you were someone who um said like oh i know nothing about digimon well by the end of this series you're going to know a hell of a lot more about digimon and what they represent and why i think why i'm a pretty much a fanboy this isn't to also just like take a crap on Yu-Gi-Oh. this isn't me saying like i think Yu-Gi-Oh sucks now because of this no 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 I'm still a fan of Yu-Gi-Oh. I still think Yu-Gi-Oh is obviously it's one of the better card games out there. I mean, I may not play it, but I, it's still one of the most popular card games out there. And for good reasons, they stood the test of time. But it is to go ahead and show you guys some, I guess you could say some complaints I have and then some thoughts I have of how Yu-Gi-Oh can change this. Because I know a lot of people are going to say, oh, they can't do this because if they do that, then card prices are going to drop or card prices are going to suffer. Or this is going to suffer or booster boxes are going to be costing more money. Listen, if Digimon is doing it and they're doing it better, 
then so could Yu-Gi-Oh! And so could everybody else. Everybody else can take a page out of each other's book because at the end of the day, it's our money that we spend on this and I want better products in the end. And this is why I always say I'm not here to just complain and just to crap all over Yu-Gi-Oh! I had major success, by the way, with Ghost in the Past Second Haunting. I've had major success with Yu-Gi-Oh! Collector sets, the Legendary Duelist sets. Those sets seem to be doing way better on a pure... Ooh, nice. Oh, I love that. Bezelma in the background. But I'm just saying, like, I just... I'm not here to just complain. There are things that they can do. And there's things that they, are, they have done in the past. Again, those legendary duelist sets, the collector sets, the maximum gold sets, the ghost from the, the past second haunting sets, those sets do way better value for uh, value per dollar than just their standard run of the mill booster box sets. And I think it's time that, you know, time to time to time to make some changes, in my opinion. That's all. That's all I'm saying. And like I said, that's what this booster box showdown is supposed to be all about. It's supposed to just show you guys where the value is, where it lies, and why is it so much better? Because at the end of this, you guys are all going to be asking yourselves, man, I, I really do think Digimon is going to run away with it here at this point. I mean, one card can change it all. There's no question about it. And I did spend less money on Yu-Gi-Oh! So if we start going on a on a spree of pulling Therian Kings, then maybe, maybe Yu-Gi-Oh! makes a, a nice comeback here. And it's a feel-good story for, for all of us, but... If that doesn't happen, and Digimon just starts running away with that, it's kind of looking like it's what's going to happen here. Then you got to ask yourself, why is Digimon being able to do this? And that's what this is all about. It's supposed to just ask you the why. Why is it that this set did way better than the other set? Or why both sets aren't good? But so far, it really does look like Digimon. This is a very, very good set. The pulls are very consistent. You get good value on all your pulls and because it is a smaller set and they are giving you three alternative arts and when you get a secret rare that is not taking the place of another highlight pull that's actually adding to your pulls that that's all good stuff Yu-Gi-Oh can do the same thing if they wanted to they just choose not to and you gotta ask yourself well why is that and that's what we're gonna be doing later at the end of all of this this is just break everything down why did one side do better than the other because it seems like that's where we're heading and like i said all that can change with one card pulling the 300 hundred dollar card can change all of that is we're consistently pulling good stuff here with digimon it's a nice card that's all this is about guys it's just that Hopefully broaden your horizon when it comes to TCG. Like I said, I'm still a huge fan of Yu-Gi-Oh. I still love Yu-Gi-Oh. I think Yu-Gi-Oh definitely has its strong points, but over the course of years, it hasn't been doing its players and collectors any justice lately. The collector sets, they seem to favor, you know, the collectors. They do, they have been getting better with their reprints. We can't argue about that. They have been doing better with their reprints. And like I said, I had tremendous success with Ghost in the Past Second Haunting. And I thoroughly enjoyed opening that set up. Alright guys, next pack over here. Kind of just moving along this booster box. Doing pretty well so far. Whereas here in Digimon, it just doesn't disappoint. We're constantly, consistently getting good pulls and like i said if they can do it if they can stay consistent so could others <clears throat> if you're a fan of Yu-Gi-Oh, i'm not taking shots i'm just simply stating some things that i'm already noticing as we approach the quarterway mark so far too no secret rare nothing no nothing major yet no major hit so Maybe Yu-Gi-Oh has a chance here in round three. All right. Working on the left side now. Mm -hmm. 
I really do think they should do that. I think they should offer you guys seven guaranteed hits. Seven hits. I think it would be perfect for a Yu-Gi-Oh! booster box. Up the, the booster packs from nine cards to 12 cards. And then give you guys, maybe if you don't even have to guarantee another secret rare, just maybe even throw in an extra ultra rare for guaranteed. Maybe you can do that. Five ultra rares, two secret rares, and then maybe like four or five booster boxes are guaranteed an additional secret rare. That would make, I think, a lot of players and collectors. Ooh, nice Leomon. Really nice. That would increase, I think, people running to go buy more Yu Gi Oh! booster boxes. That's all. I think it's time. These are just, like I said, these are just some simple solutions that are running through my brain. What else we got for us here in Digimon? Nothing there. Well, depending on the prices of these alternative arts, which I don't think they're extremely expensive, but... <coughs> but... With a couple of packs left, actually a good amount of packs left, sorry. If we pull a secret rare, like I said, Digimon can make some major separation in round three. If we don't get any, you know, tremendous pulls from here on out, then maybe the damage is just minimal. Nothing there. All right. That bodes well for Yu-Gi-Oh. We got two packs left. Huyamon. And by the way, even this card, where you notice we consistently have been pulling this card. This card is $7.50 as of right now. Of course, price can always change and subjugated to change. All prices from TCG. But as of right now, $7.50 consistently pulling that card. That right there is worth more than just about every ultra rare that Yu-Gi-Oh can throw at us. Just about every one of them. And see, that's what I'm talking about. And I do know, it's not lost on me that it is still very early in the birth of Digimon TCG. But still, that's a good amount of pulls right there, guys. You can't you can't argue, you can't disagree with me on that. All right, and Digimon, surprisingly here, didn't make our money. Total value is 5146. As you guys can see from this overhead shot, here are all the highlight pulls. So this is the time to shine for Yu-Gi-Oh! If Yu-Gi-Oh! can't win in this round, as we lost $5.79, if Yu-Gi-Oh! can't win in this round, then you can pretty much just say all hope is going to be lost and I don't see them winning this booster box challenge at all. Alright, time for the Yu-Gi-Oh! response here in round three. <clears throat> and with that last round, with Digimon not really pulling any good pulls there not getting a profit this is it this is the time now for Yu-Gi-Oh to get on the board here so my fingers are crossed you guys I'm really hoping that Digimon we pull uh, excuse me that Yu-Gi-Oh here we pull something good and we can get Yu-Gi-Oh on the board here here we go guys time for the Yu-Gi-Oh response round three Ooh, nothing like a little red eyes Anybody who knows me knows me that I'm a huge sucker for some red eyes. There we go, one ultra rare. I'm just gonna start going through this pretty quickly. Let's see what we got here. We don't have to 
mess around anymore. We pretty much know the deal here, what we're looking for. Come on, I'm feeling, I'm feeling lucky here with this Yu-Gi-Oh box. I have a feeling we're gonna pull. Oh, Legal Knight. There we go. I'm hoping to pull Therian. I think that's the name of the, the most expensive card in this box. I have a feeling we're, we're kind of, I feel like we're, we're just due for one of them, right? Two boxes in, about the third box. I have a feeling, you know, he's in this box. Yeah, Ethereum Cross. Nothing great there. I was also looking too at the TCG again, as I'm always doing. Just looking through the set. You know what else is a problem with Yu-Gi-Oh? Is that even like these cards and some of just the bulk, it's almost it's just virtually worthless. And that's a, that's kind of a problem. <clears throat> Let's see, Primitive Planet. Like, I wish, like, some of these cards did have some kind of value to it. Even if it was just, like, a 25-cent value, you know, a dollar value, just something better than just basically worthless. That's, that's basically what's happening here. Nothing there. Well, those are two cards. Two cards in. Nothing there. <clears throat> All right, let's see. Extra pendulum. Like, how nice would it be if these cards were at least 25, 50 cents a piece, 75 cents? Maybe, maybe one of them's worth a dollar or something like that. It'd be better than virtually nothing. Because that's <laughs> telling you, man. Go look at the prices of TCGs. I mean, they're not prices aren't good. Well, nothing there. All right. That's one side of the box down. Let's see what else we have here. Oh, there we go. Skeletal Dragon. All right. We're going to do two more. Big hitters. How great would it be to pull a Starlight Rare right about now? Come on, give me Therian. Let's get Yu-Gi-Oh on the board here. There's an Odd Eyes. Here we go. Let's see. Oh, well, there we go. Therian King. That is what we are looking for. That is a good pull. There we go. Finally. That is a nice pull. This is the card that you basically want to get in almost every booster box right here. This is the guy. You basically want at least six of these. Six of these, I think, is going to be difficult. I think we'll get four. Um, pulling five or six, I think, is going to be the most ideal situation. But I am very happy. Finally, Yu-Gi-Oh! on board. And that is immediate <clears throat> a profit for this box. Because I did not spend a whole lot of money on this box. There we go. The king has arrived. That's what we like to see. All right, that makes me happy. There is this guy. Another ultra rare. <coughs> That's pretty much going to do it. 
for this booster box. I don't think that's that is all six of my hits. <clears throat> Maybe we get a starlight rare. Maybe we don't. Like I said, go through this pretty quickly. Like I said, that's the thing about you, Gil, man. You pretty much get your six, and that's it. But hey, still happy to get that Therian. And see, that's what I'm talking about. How nice would it be right now to just pull at least seven and add another secret rare to the list? The fact that I already know what's what's coming, which is nothing. Kind of a bummer. But hey, nonetheless, we finally pulled them. All right, here's the overhead shot. Total value pulled here, 52.92. So that is profit for Yu-Gi-Oh. There we go. This is what we like to see. Getting Therian was, of course, crucial. Um, of course, you guys know what the price of the box is. There it is on top. For a profit of $6.67. So Yu-Gi-Oh getting on the board here. So way to go. All right, you guys. There we go. Yu-Gi-Oh finally getting on the board here. That's what I like to see. Because, of course, I want this to be very successful. I want Yu-Gi-Oh to have some success here because, of course, it's my money. So, of course, I want to see myself make a profit as well. I don't want to lose on every box. So, there we go. Finally, Digimon kind of doing a little bit of um, kind of like a lackluster, not a lackluster performance, but still getting a consistent pull. But you know what really hurt it this time was not pulling a secret rare or one of those higher value alternative arts. This is the one thing that Digimon does. They have a, a wide array of alternative arts, which sometimes that can backfire because with so many alternative arts, not all of them are high valued or worth a lot of money. So we got some of the lower ends of the alternative arts. Whereas this time with Yu-Gi-Oh, I finally spoke into existence. I said, come on, I'm feeling like Therian's going to be in this booster box. I feel like he's bound to show up eventually. I'm hoping to get hoping to get six. I know that's asking for a little too much. I'm probably going to get about three or four, realistically speaking. Six will be on the higher end from my um, from what I've seen. Um, but there it is. I spoke into existence, and then finally he comes up, and he comes in clutch. So which means for this round, the winner is... Yu-Gi-Oh! And that puts the total score right now at the end of round three, Digimon 2, Yu-Gi-Oh! 1, but at least Yu-Gi-Oh! is on the board, so Yu-Gi-Oh! fans, you get to rejoice and enjoy this moment. And that is going to do it here for us, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you're new here, and don't forget to comment. Comment how you guys are feeling after round three. And we'll see you guys next time right here at the Table of Madness.